Today we got Clutch Card Series 3 Mystery Boxes. We got four different tiers. Let's get into it. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. We're back with Clutch Cards Mystery Boxes. This is their Series 3. We got four tiers, the Pokeball, Great Ball, Ultra Ball, and Master Ball. Each cost a different amount, each with bigger and better hits as we go up. So we're gonna start with the Pokeball tier. It's $100 worth. So we're just gonna get right into it. And yes, we got a little bit of everything. We got raw, a booster pack, and a graded card in there. Nice. Now let's see, we got a CGC graded card. Oh, that is a vintage Japanese because of the back. I know from the back, vintage Japanese. This we will save. But we'll get into our booster packs first. Got two booster packs, both Scarlet and Violet. Two Paradox Rift. All right, no problem. Let's dig right into it. $100 worth. Let's see if we get our money's worth. All right, let's see if we could pull the Roaring Moon or Iron Valiant specials from one of these two packs. We can definitely do it. Yeah, mass. Surskit. And a double rare. We got an Aegislash EX. Haven't pulled that one yet. Can we do it? Root Bonnet. Lipard. Ah. Nope, in the Spathra Hollow, okay. But out of the two packs, we did get one hit. We will definitely take that. Now, they always have raw and sometimes graded cards in their mystery boxes, but the raw always pack a punch. So I think we'll save those for last. And we're gonna see what this slab is. It is a vintage Japanese card. Back looks great. Oh, okay. Oh. And it's the old slab. We're gonna take a look here. Vending Series 1 Golbat. I'm not as familiar with the Vending Series, but I know they're highly sought after and very rare. I have not seen this one yet though. I honestly see nothing wrong with it. I would guess a nine to be safe. Okay, 8.5 Golbat Japanese Vending Series 1. Very nice, all right. To dig into our raw cards here. Let's go from the front here. Oh, oh, all right. <laughs> Let's start from this side here. Centering's a little off, but that's all right. Charizard V Full Art promo from the Champion's Path ETB, I believe. Wildly off center, but I love me a Charizard. I will never complain about that. All right. Next up. Whoa, there's some not in sleeves, and I don't like that. But we'll see, we'll see. This one looks very good. Centering is great. Okay, a Sandaconda V. Not sure what set, but there we go. Okay, I'm gonna be very delicate with these since they're not in sleeves, but don't know, looks good, looks good. Let's put these down. A Solipede. Okay, it is a rare. I mean, looks good. Not sure what set it's from, but there we go. There's something. Another card looks pretty good. Some whitening up here, but... A uh, Gothitelle, non-hollow rare. Okay. Mm -hmm. Non-hollow rares. <laughs> Man, there's a lot of raw cards here, though. I like the variety in the raw cards. Looks good here. A Darumaka Hollow. A promo. Okay. I, I looked at the bottom here. It's a black and white hollow promo. That's pretty good. All right, next one up. Looks good on the back, centering's a little off, but. Okay, a baby shiny of Sobble. All right, another card out of a sleeve, so must not be that big a deal. Okay, yeah, a clay doll hollow from Obsidian Flame. All right, hey. Yeah, it's chewed up. Ooh, this might be a vintage then. I can, I can tell usually when the edges are this bad, it's a vintage guard. Haunch <laughs> Crow Hollow. I think this is a really old set. I don't know though. Er, oh, okay, hold on. Let's, let's check the date. 2007. Oh, okay, all right. So this is either 
Diamond and Pearl or Platinum, maybe? Nice. Hey, I don't... I won't complain about that. 2007. All right, it's in an Eevee sleeve. We got a shiny Galarian Runergus. Baby shiny. All right, very good. Now, I'm going to check all the values of these and be throwing them up on the screen as we're pooling them just for reference because uh, a lot of these I haven't even seen before actually so okay another baby shiny build them all right here we go next one up Ooh, a reverse hollow Mewtwo it's 2019 but I have no idea what set this is from but cool all right next up Mimikyu Hollow. Not sure what set this is from, but I have seen this Hollow before. Next up is a Galarian Slowbro V. All right, this guy looks pretty decent. Reverse Hollow Mash Shift. Scarlet and Violet Base. Okay, Let's see what this one is. Okay, here we go. I'll take that. A Reverse Hollow Niddle King from Evolutions. Very nice. I love an Evolutions card, and I love this artwork for the Niddle King. I am a base set guy through and through. And this is in a card saver, so this is our heavy hitter, whatever this is, for our $100 box. It is... Okay. Hey, you know, it's an uncommon, but it's a 1999 Fossil Golem Uncommon. It looks fairly decent, too. Sweet. All right, I'll take that. No problem there. So that was our $100 box. Here is our Great Ball Mystery Box, valued at $200. We are going to start getting real crazy here. All right, we got a bunch of stuff in here. Okay, we got two Crown Zenith packs. I know those from a mile away. Love Crown Zenith. A huge stack of raw cards. This was something in here it's not a card or if like a figurine or something i'll have to take a look at that and a psa graded slab i'm curious i want to see what this is i'm very curious it's not a card and it's not a slab it's like a figurine or something it's what it felt like what is oh okay a gyrados Pin. That is actually a nice piece right there. Let's put this over here for now. We're going to rip into our two Crown Zenith packs and see if we can pull a gold card. Ooh, we got a Duskull Galarian Gallery. Very nice. Can we get a double hitter? Yes, we can. Now, that's uh, a, v a VMAX. Requaz a VMAX. All right, nice. Hey, I'll take it. In fact, every time I open Crown Zenith, I pull this at least once. <laughs> it's crazy. All right, and last pack of Crown Zenith. Reverse Hollow. Ah, nope. And a Gumshoes non hollow. Next up, we got our PSA slab. I mean, back is a little off center but it looks fantastic gengar v okay not crazy it's fusion strike it was a little off center on the back i'm gonna guess a psa 9 on that all right psa 9 and gengar v from fusion strike we'll take it now for our raw all right first up looks good victini v Okay, not sure what from. And oh, we got a Tops card. We got the Tops Wigglytuff. Is it? Okay, no, no, no hollow. Just a normal Tops Wigglytuff. Man, this looks pristine, actually. That's super cool. I love the Tops cards. Oh, oh, wow. Dragonair. Nice. Base Unlimited Dragonair. It is jacked up and it's got a huge like dirt spot there or something but you know what i'm a vintage guy i don't care about that looks good to me venusaur non-hollow rare from i have no idea what 2009 
there so it's 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 an old one i'm not sure what set this is from i've never seen this venusaur but nice all right here we go next up galarian zapdos v all right all right here we go looks good to me pokemon catcher common card oh come on now it's a little off center but ah fossil unlimited slow poke it actually doesn't look too bad. I like the old Slowpoke. Next up, looks pretty good. Hollow Grass Energy. Okay, from 2022, so probably Crown Zenith. All right, next up, looks decent. Hollow Prime 8 from Paldea Evolved. I don't remember the hollows having this uh, border hollow on them. I guess some of them do. I guess I wasn't paying that much attention to. Oh, okay, because this is a uh, probably a promo hollow from the Annihilate box. That's probably why. That's probably why, because this is an uncommon. So, okay, the hollow primate promo. All right, keep them coming. We still got more. It's good to me, a little off center, but oh, nice. The Corridon EX Gold Card. Scarlet and Violet base set. I never pulled this one, but it is a nice, nice card. Next up. All right, Entei V. Next up. Uh, looks good. Oh, nice. Shadow Rider Calyrex V. Yeah, this is an alt art. Nice. They threw an alt art in there. I will take it. I've never pulled this one. All right. Wabam. Oh, okay. I've never pulled this before. Dredagon Trainer Gallery card. All right. Next up. This one is destroyed and bent and mangled to death. So this is definitely a vintage card. Let's see what it is. A Fracture Hollow 2012. Actually, I think this might be a Dragon Vault card, if I'm not mistaken. It is mangled and beaten to a pulp, but eh, we'll take it. All right, next to last card, we got some edge whitening problems. So I think it's vintage. Yep, and Misty's horsey. Very off center, very messed up, but again, I'm a vintage guy. I'll take it. And our final card in the card saver. Looks decent on the back. Okay, a Reggie Rock Pokemon League Reverse Hollow. We'll take that. I'm not above it. All right, so far we're getting some decent hits. All right, $300 Ultra Ball box. Let's go. Whoa, okay. We got a bunch of stuff going on in here. Okay, so we got like a deck or something. I got a Iron Bundle promo hollow in here. Let's just tear this guy open just in case. All right, there you go. Let's just cycle through these. I'm pretty sure it's just, yeah, trainer tips and energies and, yep, yeah, this is just uh deck, but with a, with a nice iron bundle hollow in there. All right, and of course we got the classics. Okay, we got two Paradox Rift and Crown Zenith. We'll take it. Another chunk of raw cards and a PSA graded slab. So let's get into our packs. Start with Paradox Rift here. All right, we got Mela. Can we get the special too? And the mouse. And nope. Age of Slash. And our second pack of Paradox. When you buy their really high priced boxes, don't get fooled by the packs that are inside because most of the time when there's packs, they're newer releases, but do the raw cards are what give you the value, in all honesty. Got a Paloozal, Don Dozo, ah, nope, and Iron Maw. All right. Crown Zenith. All right, Galarian Berserker. Ah, nope. All right, we're gonna check out what this PSA slab is. The back is very off-center. Okay, 
SB on VMAX. Full art. And that's from, oh, Evolving Skies. Nice. Very off center, though. I'm going to guess an eight on that. Whoa. What? That's a 10? Okay. Well, hey, I'm not going to complain about it if it's registered PSA 10. Hey, I'm going to take it as a PSA 10. Centering is way off on both sides, but everything else, I mean, looks pristine. So, hey, Gem Mint 10, Espeon VMAX, Evolving Skies. I will not complain about that. I will not fight it. All right, now this stack of raw cards is much smaller than the other two boxes, which if experience tells me anything, means a whole heck of a lot. These are probably really good hits. All right, let's check this out. There's whitening on the edges. Whoa, man. what is the dark Venusaur? Oh, the, the 2003, it's that, uh, it, it's the best of winner card. I, I've heard of these. I don't know much about them, but it's like a prize card. It's a best of prize card of some sort. 2003 Dark Venusaur, dude. Okay, we're starting off pretty hot. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hollow Mewtwo. Okay, this is an X and Y promo. Nice, I have not seen this one before. That is a sweet looking Mewtwo. Okay, let's see what we got here. Looks good on the back. Volcanion V, okay, looks good. Sylveon VMAX. Trainer Gallery Full Art. Nice, I have not seen this one before. This looks super, super nice. All right, a modern Japanese card. I mean, they always look pristine. A something VMAX. I have no idea what this Pokemon is. So, sure, we'll take that. All right, centering is a Bit small on the back. Oh, okay. The Cynthia's Ambition. Galarian Gallery Full Art from Crown Zenith. I have pulled this one before. And I did send one in to get graded to CGC. And it got a Gem Mint 10. You can check out that video above. I'll put a card up on the screen if you want to go check out the grade reveal. Uh, but this was in that video. Got a Gem Mint 10 on it. Super nice card. All right. Next up, whitening, a really bad chunk right up there. Whoa, nice, Manectric EX Full Art. This is 2014, but this is definitely an X and Y, I'm pretty sure. Really good, except for that chunk in the back. That is super nice. All right, we got a sealed Japanese card here, and it is a Heatran promo. Not really sure what it is or anything, but hey, we'll take it. And let's see. Ah, it looks pretty good on the back. Oh, base set unlimited magneton hollow. Super nice. The hollow is scratched to death, but everything else actually looks pretty dang good. Base set unlimited hollow. That's what I'm talking about. We got one more card though. See if we could snag another one. Edge whitening like crazy. This is definitely a vintage. Whoa, 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 whoa. Lugia EX Full Art. This is 2012. Oh, I know what this is from. I've seen this before, but I can't remember what it's from. But holy crap, that is a beautiful card, albeit mangled. I do not care. Ooh, all right. So that was our Ultra Ball. If you are liking this video, give it a thumbs up. Seriously, I'm telling you, these are still my favorite mystery boxes. Now for our final box. <laughs> I have to bring it way back here to show it to you. But uh, this is our Master Ball box. $400 worth of stuff in here. Let's just get right into it. Let's see. Ooh, this will be nuts. And this is a heavy box. Ooh, okay. Got all kinds of stuff in here. 
Okay, we got the Clara Premium Tournament Collection. We got, oh, okay, we got a pin. Oh, we got a bunch of pins. We got the Morpeko and Evil Morpeko, I guess you could call it. Cool, we got the, I can't remember if this is Zamazenta or Zacian. I think it's Zamazenta, but nice. And we got the Hisuian Zoroark. All right, and we got raw. We got our raw cards. We got the pencil set. We got the Kangaskhan EX battle deck. And we got a bunch of booster packs. Okay, there's not many raw cards in here. These are gonna rock our world. So let's get into this EX battle deck first. I have never opened this, so I don't know exactly what's in here. Okay, we got uh, this EX medallion thing here. And we got a bunch of booklets and yada yada yadas and counters and blah blah blah. And we got our deck. We'll just kind of rummage around in there, see what's in there just for kicks. But we got your code card there. And we got our Kangaskhan EX right here, which I have never seen that Kangaskhan EX. Let's see what we got in this deck, see if we got anything noteworthy in here. Energies, energies, Hesley and Hart would say. Not kind of just a bunch of uh, nothingness. All right, we're just gonna dig into this pencil set because there are just a couple of booster packs inside. All right, we got Paldea Evolved and Scarlet and Violet Base. Now we're gonna set these to the side for a minute, add those to the rest of our booster packs, and then we'll open this Clara Premium Tournament Collection and see what this is all about. Okay, I got dice and all the usual stuff. And we got all our promos in here as well as your code card. There you go. All right. We got our Clara Full Art. Nice. We got our Clara Hollow. And we got actually a bunch of Clara Hollows. Okay. All right. But the Clara Full Art is always a nice one. Sleeve that up. And we got what's in this box, which I believe should be the booster packs. Yes. Let's see what we got. We got Silver Tempest, three of those. We got two Astral Radiance, a Brilliant Stars, and a Fusion Strike. That's a good pack lineup right there. All right. Let's see what our other booster packs are so we can add them into the mix. We got two bunches of them. We got 151 right there. We got Scarlet and Violet. More 151. And more Scarlet and Violet and more 151. Okay. So we've got two Crown Zenith and three 151 to add to the pile. And one more stack of booster packs. We got Lost Origin, Scarlet and Violet Base, Silver Tempest, and Scarlet and Violet base. All right, we're just gonna start with our packs. We're gonna get an Astral Radiance first. Let's see, I think, yes, okay. There we go. Don't wanna give it away. Okay, Ponyta Reverse. Starmie V Fool Art. All right, hey. Very nice. All right, and our last Astral Radiance. Let's see what we can do here. I am not sure of what pools are in this set, to be honest with you. So I'm going in a little blind. All right, we got a Ralph and Ursulina non hollow. All right, moving on to Scarlet and Violet base sets. See if we can pull a special illustration rare on this bad boy. Just then, Primate and Professor's Research hollow, nothing. Mischief. Magnemite. Ah, Alucha. Darn it. And last Scarlet and Violet base set. I don't think the code cards matter in this set, if I remember right, so 
the white doesn't mean anything. Silly Cobra. <laughs> Silly Cobra. Energy search. Oh, we got a double rare. What do we got? Okay. Nice. We got the Arcanine EX. I do like that. Alright, moving into our Paldea Evolved. Got a Murkrow. Lavel. And another EX. Got a Tinglu EX. Okay. Never pulled that one. There we go. Now for Fusion Strike. Let's see if we luck out on a Gengar. Ah, nuts. Nope, we're not gonna luck out on anything. Might as well just look through it here. Starmie and nothing. All right, Brilliant Stars. Can we, I don't know, pour an all part charge on? All right, Cub Chew and a V. Right, Chew V, okay. All right, next up, Lost Origin. All right, we got a Clefable and, nope, Parasect. All right, moving on to Silver Tempest. Come on, Lugia Altar, come on. Can't hide from me forever. Okay, Worker and Nuts. Got three packs of this, so come on. Give me the goods. Raichu and us. Eh, Cobalion. Woof. Oh, okay. We actually had four packs, so we got two more packs of Silver Tempest. Two more chances at that Lugia that always eludes me. Oh, Radiant Alakazam. Very nice. Oh, and a V-Star. Regidrago V-Star. Very nice. All right, last pack of Silver Tempest. Will we get some last pack magic? Got yeah, Kling and Milotic. All right, next up, two packs of Crown Zenith. Oh, nice. I have pulled this once before, but I will pull it again. Oh, double hitter. Reggie Gigas V. Very nice pack. Really like this full art. I really like that one. And last pack of Crown Zenith. Okay, it's something. Radiant Eternatus, nice, all right. And the Tauros. All right, and last but not least, three packs of 151. See if we can get the Elusive God pack. Oh, all right, we got the Hollow Energy. Let's pull a 151 hit, come on. Venomoth, Diglett, ah, Chansey, right? Ponyta, oh dang, yep, we got a special. What is, the, I think that's Alakazam. No way, dude, I love this card. I have never pulled this. Give this video a like. That is, oh my gosh, you freaking kidding me? It's got a full art in there too. What? People look at this. We got a double header pack with an Alakazam EX special illustration rare and a Venusaur EX full art in it. You have got to be kidding me. Holy cow. Give this video a like. Come on, people. This is this this is a moment right here. This is a moment. Dude, look at this. This. I was waiting for it. We had we got our moment. We got our moment. Wow, wow, wow. Alright. One more pack of 151. If we get another double hitter again, or another special, or a god pack, then this will officially be the craziest opening I've had on this channel yet. Squirtle. Beedrill. And, okay, nothing. Vaporeon Hollow. Let's take a look at this one more time. Oh my gosh. Wow, wow, wow. And to top a $400 box off. We got these raw cards that I'm sure will make our jaw drop. 
We're gonna start from the bottom. See what we got. Ooh, a Swampert E Series non hollow rare, but it's E Series, dude. Come on. 2003. Oh boy. All right, next up. All right, let's just do it. Team Yell Grunt Full Art. I have no idea what set this is from, but hey, Full Art Trainer, take that. Oh my goodness. Let's just do it. Okay, Meow Scarada EX Full Art. From Paldea Evolved, I have pulled that one. Not uh, too wild, but we'll take it. All right, next up, looking good. Whoa, oh, the, okay, this is a Salamence Hollow from Dragon Vault. It actually doesn't look too bad. Some scratches, I think it could fetch at least an eight. Nice, 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 man. Next up, looks great on the back, come on. Whoa, what is this from? That Furiso Girl Rainbow. I have no idea what set this is from, but it looks pristine. I don't see any centering issues or scratches or anything. There's three cards left, and this is a TV animation series Ash Ketchum card. Boom. The Ash Ketchum card. I have seen this card many times, and it just brings me back. That. Mm. I love it. I love it. I love it. Two more cards here. Let's just do it. Whoa. Nice. Thunderous EX full art from I have no idea. It's 2013. Jeez. Final card of the opening. $400 box. In the card saver. Looking mighty nice. Let's just do it. Ooh. Okay. Glalie Hollow from Power Keepers. EX Power Keepers, dude. It may just be a Glalie, which isn't, you know, whoa, but EX Power Keepers. That's a whoa. Wow. Okay. So here's our hit pile. This was $1,000 worth of boxes. Just look at all of these. And while I'm cycling through all these insane hits that we got today, I want to remind you that down in the description, I have a 10% off code for clutch cards. Good for anything your heart desires. Just check them out. Use my 10% off affiliate code. Get yourself something nice, including these mystery boxes. I'm telling you, I'm still not disappointed. I, I love their mystery boxes. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you on the next one.